I'm at Pastor Benjamin's shop today and uh, we're just here with some of the finished products of the coral domes. So you can take a look at that. We have a Dovinson and uh, Woolex painting today. And this is what they're looking like. We have two finished so far. We're just gonna use those as a test trial today. I'll be following that all day with video about how that goes so you can see that. But the cool features on this is that we're gonna be fastening coral right here along the edges and they are made of rebar and painted with anti-rust paint. So it'll be good for putting under the, under the water out on the reefs, but we're really excited that. And like I said, we'll be following that all day with the video. Just about to head down to the coast. I was getting, I was getting into the painting a little bit, but uh, Washley thankfully took over for me. Missy Washley. Uh, but yeah, these are, these are turning out great. Dovinson's still doing an awesome job with this. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we're gonna just move on soon and go uh, go check out the next step, which is the coral recruitment part. All right, we're moving on to step number two in our trial run of the coral nursery. Um, I'm here with our driver. His name is Ben also, and we have Jamba, and Pastor Benjamin's coming along with us today. So we're gonna be, first, uh, right now, we're just gonna be collecting some coral fragments to take to our nursery and be able to fasten them to the domes. So I'll try to get some footage on the GoPro and uh, this is step two. Right now we're on our way to put our, our coral reef domes in. Uh, we just collected the coral from a fading reef and I think these will be, these will be good species to be putting on our coral domes. Uh, so. If you don't think I'm a crazy person already, uh, just wait till you hear this. One of our big problems is that we didn't have any scuba diving tanks, any oxygen tanks. And I brought all my scuba stuff, but couldn't find anyone to rent tanks from here. So what we're doing, uh, and keep in mind, this is just a test trial, so not guaranteeing it'll work at all. Probably won't, but we'll see. Uh, but we just bought a PVC pipe, if I can figure out how to switch this camera around. Okay, I don't know how to switch the camera around. That was kind of embarrassing. Uh, but this is it. We bought a 20 foot PVC pipe. I'm gonna duct tape it to my snorkel and my mask and so that water can't come in and basically just hope for the best and hope I don't die, but that's how I'm gonna be going under and fastening the coral to the domes. So, as soon as we get there, I will be switching to the GoPro for this one, even though I didn't last time, and you'll get to see this uh, spectacle. Okay, so clearly, I did not get any videos of us trying to install them. My bad, but uh, the GoPro overheated, so couldn't get it back on after that. Couldn't video. I'm sorry. Anyways, uh, the duct tape PVC pipe big ordeal did not work anyway. So uh, that's a long story. I'm not gonna get into that. But we did install them successfully. Still, uh, I basically just free dived the whole thing. We only went like 15 feet, 15 feet down. So I was just fastening to them while the other guys were helping me uh, tie some zip ties to the coral. So it was a good team effort in the end. It was a lot more uh, difficult and time taking, but, or time consuming, but it worked. So we are going to go through with it and we're going to be trying to install the rest on Thursday. Uh, probably just the same way, except with more people. So I'm hoping it goes a little faster. If not, that's okay. I still got a few weeks. But I will try to get some video on the next time. Um, I'm not going to make any promises because I've done that before and I couldn't get video. So never know what will happen. Sadie.